All right, where do you begin on that one there? Um, first of all, I'm happy we won the game, you know? It wasn't one of the better games, I would say one of the minutes that, I mean, that's probably our most inconsistent 15 minutes we had offensively and defensively. You know, give them a lot of credit. You know, they did some things to disrupt us, but that to me was a mindset and mentality, you know? I, I, as I told our team, you know, it's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that way we want to play, getting ready to go into a gauntlet of a Big East schedule, beginning on the road at Connecticut where I don't remember the last Big East game they had in Hartford. It may be eight or nine years. So, you know, they're going to be ready to play against the Friars. So we got a lot of work to do before then. We need a couple of days off. Um, just, just wasn't a really good showing the last 15 minutes. The perspective on that is you take the win and you move on. You know, I don't think you walk away from there saying, you know, this, that, or the third with respect to a win or a loss. At the end of the day, sometimes you don't play your best and you win a game. Sometimes you can play your best and lose a game in situations like this. So that to me is the maturity piece as a coach and the maturity piece as a team that we just have to get better at from the group. Other than that, you know, things happen and you move on. I think if you overthink certain things, you can go down a negative hole. So put the game behind us. We want it, move forward and keep it moving. Is it tough to remain focused when you jump out so quick and supposed to win by a ton? And you know, as a coach, you want you know, to keep the gas down. The whole you want to keep the gas down. Too. You know, I mean, we had one player get an offensive rebound. One player on the whole roster. I don't know if I've ever seen that. To me, it's 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 about it's it's really about focus. It's really about mentality. It's about hunger. Is it hard to coach with a big lead sometimes? But I mean, I didn't expect that out of a group that has eight seniors on the roster. You know, what I mean, so that part was disappointing. Um, and again, they had something to do with that. They contested shots. I mean, this may be the most open shots we've had in my career here. From, from three. I mean, we had guys that are still open as I'm sitting here at the podium. You know, we just, you know, we just didn't have a good day shooting the ball. You know, if one or two of those go in, it's a totally different story. But woulda, coulda, shoulda, it didn't, and here we are. But the first half, you know, everything was clicking there. It was just, you know, we knew that maybe Central Ted was trying to make a punch at some point. Mm -hmm. or well, that's sport, you know, that's sport. And I would say the old Coach Cooley or the old Ed would be really upset, really down, really out. I think you just got to kind of move forward. You know, the fact of the matter is we got our 10th win. We have a couple of days to rest. We have a couple of days to get healthy. We have our academics that are going to be really important with the exam schedule. And then we have four great days to prepare for a monster down in uh, Hartford. You know, so that's the perspective I'm going to keep. Like I told you before, if you lose this game, you know, it's, it's, it's a different tone, you know, and, and again, you know, I appreciate our fans for coming out and people will be cynical of which they should be. Yet at the end of the day, I'm happy we won the game. But the overall body of work is not conference. I look at the, I, how can you not be pleased? I mean, I mean, look at the body of work from the big East alone. The Big East alone has really done a great job positioning ourselves as we get ready to go against one another to have great net RPI, A, B, C, D, E, X, G, whatever letters you want to put in there. As a league, we've positioned ourselves to do really well competing against one another to try to get as many at-large teams come March 13th. Where, where are the wins in the Big East then? Ha! <laughs> great question, Kevin. Where are the wins in the Big East? Um, uh, Georgetown won again today, by the way. Georgetown won. That's great. Great win. Yes, well, they That's here. You go. I mean, again, two great wins. Great wins. BYU, very good team. And again, the Big East is a is is a monster this year. Um, so I don't. Good question. Where are they coming from? The teams that are tough. The teams that are connected. The teams that are disciplined. The teams that understand opportunity. The teams that can get a little lucky the teams that are uh, communicating, all those things are adjectives toward winning. And I didn't think the last 15 minutes, you can delete everything I just said in today's game because none of those things existed out there. Coach, leading into those final 15 minutes, did they make any adjustments that you might have noticed that kind of I, I don't think they did. I think the biggest adjustment was our players' mindset. 
they went from a killer mindset to a resting mindset. And I thought our players started playing the score a little bit. And then when we were when we missed a, uh, some wide open shots, I can't say that enough. I don't know if I've ever seen that here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center as the coach. We just didn't make a lot of shots. And then we start pressing and we turn the ball over. How many turnovers we have? I mean, 11, it seemed like we had 30 of them. It was so, you know, but again, it's the holiday season. Take a deep breath. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse, right? We got 10, we got 10 wins. We have great young men. We'll connect them again. We'll get them focused. And we're looking forward to a great, great Big East schedule, you know, of which two of the next three will be in our building again. So look forward to everybody coming back out. Sir. You're not starting for the first time yeah he, he's an energy giver uh, you know I mean that's his role on the team um big big energy person um you know I didn't realize he was six for six I have my glasses I can't see um but he's someone who's naturally energetic he's He's somebody that's going to play that role the entire time he's here. But, he, you know, he gave us a big, big boost out the gate. And what about uh, your own self? You started, you called the system in the first half. Uh, AJ had a career high, personally. Just what about the tone that you might have set? Which was good. And I thought that, you know, and that's the way we had been practicing. And that's the way we had been playing. That's when I thought we were really dialed in and locked in. You know, a couple of mistakes here or there. You know, we just didn't sustain it, you know, and I don't want us to be a team that we're going to have energy because what the ball's going in the basket. At the end of the day, if you're going to win in this league, you better hang your hat on some defense, some rebounding and some, you know, scrum baskets, because that's what these games are going to come down to in our league. You know, you're not going to find too many blowouts. You're not going to see too many, you know, too many games that are separated just on the parity of the league. Look, look around the country, what it's done. I, I don't know if, I mean, we have to have as a league, probably one of the one or two best overall records in the country. We got to be close. I mean, every time I turn around, a Big East team is winning. And I think we're three and zero today. Correct. And I think Connecticut's playing St. Bonaventure right now. Right. So that'll be a game that I'll go home and watch and start to scout and try to get our men ready. Can't say it again. There's never, ever an ugly win. We made some mistakes. We did what we had to do to win the game. Right. I'm a little disappointed with how we finished. I'm really excited with how we started, but at the end of the day, it's win number 10, period. That's the message. That's what I'm going to tell my players. I'll have a couple of conversations at the sidebar. Go from there. I mean, it's the holiday season. Have some eggnog, smile, and see where we go from there. I don't know what else to tell you guys. <laughs> um, but at the end of this little stretch where you did have Jared, mm -hmm. how, you know, was that good to see? Really good. Because in the past, as, as last year indicated, it, it wasn't the same results, you know, and I think we're a totally different team, you know, totally different team. We got to we got to get them back on the on the same page as far as their mentality, their focus and their understanding. If we do that, I think we're going to be a tough out. But every game from here on out will be a war, will be a war war. So the Friars got their work cut out for them. And I think we'll be up for the challenge. Anything else? Appreciate you guys. Safe drive.